Craziest hike I've ever done. There's, there's no hike. This is a this is a climb. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this new video. This is episode number one of my little hike and shoot series. We are starting off the journey today on Sunday, the 15th of September. At first, I got dropped off at the mountain in the early afternoon, so that according to plan, at least, we could get to the hut by the evening. The mountain I was starting at is called Traunstein, and it is said not to be very easy, which I rather quickly noticed. Guys, this is easily the craziest mountain climb I've ever done. Down there's where I came from, coming up here, holding onto this rope here. Up there, and there are a few ladders here and there. I came up a ladder down there, so uh, yeah, it's going up kind of crazy. So that's how most of the climb was, really steep at parts and then there were some areas where you could take a little rest before continuing on the next really steep ascent. Because the climb itself was challenging enough I decided not to have my camera hanging from my neck, it was in my backpack and so I wasn't shooting that much but every time I took a break I did get my camera out and snap a few shots. But sadly none of these photos were especially good because, well, the lighting conditions were not exactly doing me a favour. The signpost at the bottom of the mountain had said that the climb takes on average about two and a half hours. I eventually got to the hut after four hours. At the hut I enjoyed a beer and a nice dinner and after that I headed up to the top of the mountain which is only about 10 minutes from the hut to catch the sunset. Made it, finally, <sighs> to the top. And that was it for day one. After the sun had set it, I headed back down to the hut and uh, got to bed early because the next day I was going to shoot the sunrise and that is what you saw in the intro sequence. The sunrise was beautiful and I got a few shots which I think turned out pretty well. After shooting the sunrise, I made my way back down the mountain to the lake from where I took a boat across the water to get to the train station. I made it to the train station here. Uh, train's gonna be coming right there in about 10 minutes. I rode the train for only one stop to get to the village from where the trail up the next mountain starts. So, things are looking pretty good right now. Uh, I think I know where I need to go, mountains just in front of me. And then I need to find the trail where I'm going up and... Uh, oh, there's some signs there. Fire Koger, three hours. All right. We're sleeping somewhere up there today. I can't see the house anymore, I think it's up that ridge there. Mountain water. It's the kind of water that you want to get. This mountain now I think is going to be slightly easier. Guys, I am barely alive. Nope. <laughs> 
this mountain was not much easier. This mountain's not even that hard. It's it's actually rather easy, or like really easy compared to yesterday's mountain. But I'm still so exhausted from yesterday's day. I came down that mountain this morning, which means I am already slightly exhausted and now coming up this mountain. It is hard. I'm so looking forward to being up on uh, the, the house and uh, just falling into my bed. Let's continue. And so I did. I was really dragging myself up the mountain, constantly feeding myself with candy to keep my body going. And after ages, or like four hours or so, we got close to our destination. Guys, we're almost there. I think we made it. There's the first hut, but I don't think that that is the hut that I'm staying at. Oh guys, this last part really has been challenging, just because my body is so tired already. See the man back there? That's where we came from. That's where we slept yesterday. And that was the end of the hike for that day. After that, I just had a really good supper in the house and also took the possibly best shower I had ever taken. And after that, I just went out for another hour or so to shoot before the sun was completely gone and it was dark. Ah, what's up guys? I'm sitting outside here again. I had an amazing shower at the hotel hut. No, it's, it's not a hotel, but it's not a hut. It's something in between. That shower felt so good because I didn't shower in the first hut because they don't have a shower and this one does. Man, I didn't think that after only leaving out one shower, a shower can feel so good. And that's just how it is when you're hiking and you're sweating all day. You just feel terrible uh, when not showered. Anyway, I'm out here. I think the sun has gone down already, but the sky is still pretty dramatic and I'm capturing it right now. I don't quite know what compositions I have yet, but there's a nice little peak back there and the Lumix is on that wooden thing over there uh, making a time lapse. We'll see what that time lapse will be like, but I think it's going to be pretty good because it's, uh, I don't know, I like the composition, the sky is pretty dramatic. I think it can be a good one. And that was it for the evening. I got to bed early again for an early start on day three, which you'll be seeing in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Hike and Shoot series. If so, leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye.